Myers guru, quote unquote, including myself, which I never call myself a guru because I'm not. So you say you're not a guru, but you own here trying to sell a course. That doesn't make sense, Jeremy. How are you how you don't consider yourself a guru? Well, if you really don't consider yourself a guru, then I suggest you stop trying to sell people BS. Stop trying to sell people courses. Stop trying to sell people anky dank indicators, you know? Oh, and if y'all didn't know, do y'all remember the guy named Leo Williams, Pip Society? Yeah, that guy is Jeremy Cash's mentor in Forex. And that guy is a fraud as well. That guy literally trades demo accounts all the time and he does MLM marketing a lot. He was once in this company your boy Leo from Big Bag Academy. and now he's back to this company. If you log into your back office, this is for all PIP Society members. For the last 12 years, man, I've been trading in the Forex markets. And it's been a roller coaster. Simply because he's trying to get your money. This dude has not been trading Forex for no 12 years. I can guarantee you that. This guy is a fraud because he's doing the same thing Leo Williams is doing. He's not doing anything different than Leo Williams because the company that he's been promoting called Avoria Prime, which is now what, Arrow or something? Yeah, um, that company has been changing their name a lot as well. You wonder why? Because of fraudulent activities. Go and check out this CoffeeZilla video if you want to know more information on that. You're struggling financially and you want to find a method where you can make some additional cash to ease those financial worries. Now trading is about money. There's no doubt about it. Our industry is based upon making money. However, the reason why I think most people fail is because they come in and they've been shown these images and shown these accounts that make trading seem so easy and that making money isn't difficult at all. Unfortunately, the reality is different. And when you get shown montages like that, your mind automatically goes to, I want that. And what do you need to get that? You need money. Now, this is where I think a lot of traders fail. They come into the industry and I did this myself thinking only about making money maybe they're financially in a bad place maybe they're struggling to pay their bills and they're looking for a way to ease that financial stress 95 percent of traders fail and i think the reason why that number is so high is because people come in with the false pretense that trading is easy when it's actually one of the most difficult things you'll ever do in your life i've heard bad things about this guy do not trust this guy Q Banks. I know everybody praise him or whatever the crazy crap is. Do not trust this guy. This guy is a well-known marketer. He's not a trader. He's an entertainer. If you actually do your due diligence yourself, you will see the same, but you don't do your due diligence. So you instead believe everything these people say. Okay, so I need everyone to put inside their calendars things to look forward to. Okay, but me and Anthony was talking and we want there to be more opportunities like this right here. So we're, we're going to be dropping a program very, very soon, probably towards the next, like, let's say 45 days or so. That could actually allow people a lot more opportunities when it comes to getting fun in the next 45 days so that they can make more money off of you instead of in the trading markets. Because if there is anybody that has time to do this, nine times out of 10, they're not really trading as much as you think. But anyways, these people are trying to take your money. Don't even get me on QBank signals. I saw your YouTube video and wanted to reach out. I'm in Q's course and can say from somebody who's in it that the course is full of fluff. I guess to support the high price. He has vids from 2015, 2016, but will tell new students to focus on 2019 videos only. I saw a comment that said he trades live with the students, which is a lie. I was recently one of the, in his webinars, he does every blue moon and asked him about a setup he took on Instagram story. You know, can you walk us through your 200K setup? God, no, I, um, I was able to hop on it slightly. It's the 200k setup. Honestly, it's it's, it's not that much. Um, like I said, like I I personally just, just hate going over certain trades because I I lose track of like what I have like going on. Um, if you've been paying, if you long, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you've been paying attention uh, long enough as far as like how I'm analyzing that kind of stuff, especially like when it comes to past webinars, you can see the simple thing. 
look very good at MA. You have a retest of that. Look. The way he placed his fib and executed his trades was completely different from what he teaches in the course. And he said he didn't want to break it down and that he didn't feel like it. This isn't what his first time doing this. He says that he risks 100 points on every US 30 trade and scales in, but that's capped too because I plotted all his entries from his most recent week and a few of his entries went 200 plus points negative and he held them until they came back down. I teach a 20 pip take profit, 40 pip stop loss. I teach a 20 pip take profit, 40 pip stop loss. I teach a 20 pip take profit, 40 pip stop loss. Strategy. This is about the most dumbest thing you can ever do. This is <laughs> risking on another level. Oh my God, who's stupid enough to do that? Some people probably like, I am. <laughs> okay, yeah, stay stupid and keep believing this BS that he keeps on showing you. Oh my God, that's dumb. And y'all think these people are profitable consistently. Y'all really need to wake up. What's hilarious about this list is that all of the people who clearly paid to be on the list are selling something in their bio. How ignorant of me to ever think these kinds of lists were legitimate. And it didn't take long to find three guys promoting their scammy Forex trading course. I would know exactly what they were selling if their website was still active. I guess it was time to move on to some other scam. Listen to their bios, it might be the funniest thing you'll hear today. Jackinson Jackpot Verdul. As an experienced Forex trading educator and mentor, Jack is committed to helping clients strategize for their financial security. His unique leadership approach has drawn the attention of thousands of new clients worldwide. Jack believes above all that you have to believe in yourself and maintain your vision, despite what others tell you. When that vision becomes reality, everyone else will believe in your dream. I've never had my fake guru meter hitting 10 out of 10 so quickly before. They don't even have the equivalent experience. For example, Jeremy Cash don't even have no more than two years of experience. And you think somebody with less than two years of experience is actually going to teach teach you how to be profitable in the forex market you're an idiot swag academy same thing he don't have no more than two years of experience either he lies to people and tell them that he has five years of experience but that's a lie he really doesn't there is no actual proof he doesn't show any receipts whatsoever if he was actually profitable he would show receipts easily but he doesn't i wonder why fake gurus have to continue to show you a lifestyle Real traders do not do this. Real traders don't even wait, try to waste time to show you anything because they feel that they don't have to prove anything to you. But these fake gurus have to prove something to you. And the fact that Jeremy Cash has to go out of his way to show you a lifestyle says it all because you want, you want me to tell you how I know that? Sell you on the lifestyle is simply this. He already has a channel specifically for vlogging. He could have easily promoted that channel, but he didn't. Because guess what? He's trying to sell you on the Forex lifestyle. Because even though his, his real money isn't from Forex, he tries to sell it and tries to give you the perspective of manipulating you into thinking that all his profits are from Forex. Back to Pip Society. Jeremy Cash had ripped this guy's course a year to two years ago. If you were watching Jeremy Cash around that time, you would have seen in his Forex course that he had ripped Pip Society's course. But Jeremy Cash came into Forex brand new, not knowing nothing, and he literally ripped somebody else's content to sell it as his own. And if you think that's cool, just imagine if that happened to you. If somebody were like copying off of your hard work, copied and pasted your hard work and to just to sell it on their as their own. How would you feel about that? Would you feel happy about that? Would you feel cool with that? Because that's exactly what Jeremy Cash did. And if that's a holy, godly thing to do, then you're an idiot. The same people that are believing in these fake Forex gurus are the same people that believe in these guys right here. These fraudsters. Bam Man Kevo. Like, bro, they're all frauds. Now, if you search up Jeremy Cash review on Google, right, and scroll down to some real reviews, you can see experienced traders have reviewed this fraud. Okay, you want to see what experienced traders say? Basically, now look here, look at where it says basically. Basically, he is bragging about his trading style while dropping a few information regarding the market structure. To an absolute beginner, this kind of video might be exciting, but an experienced person can easily see the flaws present in them. For starters, he never puts out a video before an event occurs, and when he does upload a video, it usually is showcasing the profits only. 
is on his channel, but compared to the sketchy titles, it seems like a marketing gimmick. But I'm the only one, and I'm hating. I guess these people on this blog is hating as well. I guess we all hating because we're, you know, more experienced and, you know, telling you how it is. I guess that's just hating nowadays. But yeah, please come and check out this, um, this blog. Another thing fake gurus love to do is do giveaways. Giveaways is some of the oldest marketing tactic in the game. These fake gurus do giveaways for a reason. It's to get more buyers. That's the only reason. Get more buyers to buy into their BS product. And I'm definitely going to lace you up with new trading strategies and gems. They're going to continue to sell you on more and more strategies. Nothing else. Not real skill. Not real trading or anything like that. Because real traders don't focus on showing you this strategy, that strategy, and, the, and another strategy because they know how to trade. They're sticking to one thing and one thing only. Now let's get on about these reactional videos because none of these reaction hosts, uh, YouTubers, can trade themselves. They all have less than two years of experience. So you can't hear nothing truthful from them. They will go along with the uh, with the fake gurus because that's who they learn from, the fake gurus. They learn from the 99 percenters. So guess what? They trying to help you be more encouraged with the 99% teaching you the BS. That's all what's going on. He just seemed like a marketer. I ain't gonna lie, like, who does that? To show a bag of money with two laptops. That's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He already trying to sell you a dream already off the rip. So it's like, that's a super red flag for me. Now, I'm gonna show you what's a red flag for me and you, Doc, because this guy, is trying to scam the masses as well with less than two years of experience not even close to five like people <laughs> it's like people would buy from people with no experience as, at all and you think it's just me it's really not just me let me let y'all hear and listen to a 40-year veteran talk about these fake gurus as well because i don't think y'all actually comprehend or understand where i'm coming from i wouldn't say nothing against these people right Thirty thousand views 126,000 views 69,000 views right and they're giving away 99 percent forex strategy scalping right <laughs> these guys are hilarious now let's look at some actual facts so any of these people not calling them clowns but they just don't have experience right and they are placing these winning trades and they're out there telling you how the rich family, how you can become rich because they placed a few winning trades over a small sample size, okay? I have a lot of friends who are in the, we'll call it the tape selling business. And these guys that I know and, and friends of mine and people that I, I know that maybe aren't friends, but I still know them, they put together a lot of information on how to make money, how to develop wealth, how to create financial freedom. And the scary thing about this, and I see these people all over the world, is the vast majority of these people, when they're making the tapes or CDs on how to get rich, the guy is making this CD on how to get rich. And at the time he's making the CD, he ain't rich. He's actually flat broke. He's probably massively in debt and he has no money. And the reason he's producing this series on how to get rich is so he can sell it so he can make money. And I hope you understand what I'm saying here. I understand that this is catered towards the beginning. Any resemblance between the course contents and babypips.com, a completely free website that teaches you Forex trading. But then in my research, I remember coming across a very specific comment made by Swaggy himself. So I immediately started learning, you know, Forex off of a, you know, YouTube video off of, you know, babypips.com. Babypips.com. What is Forex? What is Forex? Three types of analysis. Three types of analysis. Trading sessions. Forex trading sessions. Market open and reset. Oh, look at that. All the times markets open and reset. If anything, this guy should be paying a f royalty to Baby Pips because what he's quite clearly done here is cherry pick topics off 
off of the website and then just rebranded it under his own. The same is with all the other sections within this beginner's course where he's clearly picked sections off of the Baby Pips website making short form videos. I'm not actually sure what the legalities around this are, but I'm pretty confident that is plagiarism because Baby Pips is a trademark company. Of course, yeah, I'll show you everything, man. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of upsetting, to tell you the truth, man. I really... I really was following them for a while. Then I started getting the signals. I'm like, $30 ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying, a month. So I started receiving their signals. And all of a sudden, I'm like, man, these things ain't in profit. Maybe a couple of them were in profit, but majority of them, I lost money. So... As you look at his results from Pipology signals, I just want you to understand that I'm not hating at all. I don't hate on people that's actually doing what they're teaching, you know, because these fake gurus just pretty much teach you how to do something that they've never done before. And that's what I call a scam. They've never grown an account to, you know, six figures to a million dollars to seven figures or eight figures. And that's why I make my point very clear on where they make their real money from, which is from the course sales, the affiliate links, not from what they're teaching you. That's why they simply manipulate you into giving you the perception as if they are making their money from you know, trading or what they're teaching you. But that's simply just not the case. And just because they're showing you profits on a live account on an MT4 platform does not make them consistently profitable because they're showing you that, but they may just have blown that account before but and just deposited more money just to make you think they are. So the YouTube channels that I've been showing you so far are the real traders because these people don't have to show you a lifestyle to let you know they know what they're doing. By no means am I saying they're the 1%, but I am gonna say this. They are more efficient with their teaching. They don't teach the same jargon that you heard from one fake guru to the next. They don't teach the same as these fake gurus. And once you listen to them, you'll hear exactly what I mean. I came across this website and it says the Forex industry and its mentors. It's a forum, right? And so this guy says, so I've been seeing a lot of people lately getting into Forex and seeing these so-called mentors, which are who? Jeremy Cash. Ty, Sodar Easy Forex, Swaggy C, Swag Academy, Jackpot, Q Banks, and many other names, right? And so he wanted to get other people's opinion on the courses. I bought Jeremy Cash course and I feel like it was a waste of money. Of course, I was inspired and I wanted to show my support, but to be honest, it was complete bullshit. This is our course. This course is going to show you the basics of how to begin in Forex from. They all teach nothing but the basics, nothing more. They don't know no more than I do. I can promise you that. They're selling you all on the same information. Don't buy into their scheme. Just because it's not IML as they want you to believe and think, it doesn't make them not a scam as well. Wake up, people. Also, every strategy that Pipology uses is inside. And also, don't think it's yourself. If you're failing with their strategy and with what they're teaching you, it's not you. I promise you, it is not you. That's just what they want you to think at the end of the day so that you won't come back to them. And for the people that still think I'm hating, I just want you to know, I'm just sharing what you don't see. That's all it is, you inexperienced clown. <laughs> so, nobody else but Pizza?